Today I'm going to have a go with the trading simulation game by CME Group and I'm going to try a Jesse Livermore tactic by buying new all-time highs or new all-time lows and normally he uses one or two year new highs but because this game is really fast I'm going to use two weekly highs or two weekly lows and we're going to raise our stop every time it moves past the major round number to capture our gains. So this is a neat little game and you can play this yourself on this link I put here and I'll put the link in the description as well. So here we go! I'm going to click continue and we're going to choose to be a speculator where we can go long or short. Ignore the lady that's speaking because she provides news and it won't work if you trade on the news. Right, you can see it's trading between 300 and 350 dollars. These are major round numbers, and I need to see it clear out this uh, trading range. So it's going to either break high or break low. I, I don't know. So it's going to break low. So it's cleared the major round number. I'm going to sell, and our stop's just above 300. Now it's going beneath 250, I think. So we're going to raise our stop. Now we're going to raise our stop. We could pyramid our position here. But uh, we've maxed out. So if it crosses the 250 again, I'm going to close my short position. And there it goes. I'm going to buy. Now I'm not going to go long. We're neutral now. We're all in cash until it makes a two weekly new high. It hasn't done. It hasn't. There's no two bl big blocks to clear. So if it's going to make an all-time new high past 350, we'll go long. And it's cleared the 350 level, so we're going to go long. And our stop's just under 350. Now it's clearing the 400, so we're going to raise our stop just, just under 400. Now um, our stop's just under 400, so we can lock in any profits. We could sell here, because we know the top of the trading game, the range of this trading game is 450 but prices can go higher or lower than you think so that's the disadvantage of this game. Now I've sold out at just under 400 so we're in cash now and we're coming to the end of the game. It hasn't made a two weekly new low so we haven't gone we haven't gone short either. So there we have it, we've got a total profit of $610 there not bad. Let's have another go with the same system. We're going to be a speculator like the great Jesse Livermore. Now let's put the price here at the 400 level. So we know that the trading range is between 200 and 450 in this game so there's no way it's going to go any higher than this. But it can do in real life. Now it's breaking the 350 level, so we're going to go short because that's an all-time new low. A quick end to the mill workers' strike eases lumber supply concerns. Mills will now work at second. And it's now dropping beneath 300, so we're going to raise our stop. Now we could pyramid around our position at this level. It could go beneath 250. to one and a half weeks, leading to short-term oversupply conditions. So we're going to raise our stop now again. Now we're going to have to close out at some point. Now because we know the bottom's 200 we could close out there but we're going to stick to the system and just show you how this works. It's completely non-emotional, completely mechanical. So our stop's just above 250 there. So we just got to sit and wait. It's hard to wait. As Jesse Livermore said, the hardest part is the sitting and waiting. Now, if it went beneath 200, then we could pyramid our position again. But we know this game at the bottom is 200. Now, it's going to break the 250 level, so we're going to close out because that's it, our stop. It's also made a new two weekly new high, so we're going to go long. So we've gone straight to long. And now it's cost, crossed the 300 level, so we've raised our stop to just under 300. And we're going to be in profit when the game closes out at 
not seem to be a resolution. So that's another successful run. So it's all about having a good upside and low downside. Okay, we're gonna play it one more time. And I've played these three games in a row. I haven't selected the three best games. And it's a pretty foolproof technique. So we're gonna have another go, third time. So here we go. The price is between 350 and 250. It's made a two weekly new low, so we're gonna sell. We've gone short here. 24% last month, triggering a decline in the demand for lumber. And it's going beneath 250, I think. Building permits rose 4.8% last month, according to the National. It hasn't done. Economists agree that signals good news for the housing Just gonna wait. And uh, we've had to take a loss there. Our stock's been triggered. It's a small loss, you see there. It's about maximizing your gains and minimizing your losses. Now it's made an all-time new high here, at past 350. So we've gone long. You can see. I've waited for the price action to cross the level rather than just hit it and we've been stopped out again so that's two losses in a row we've got here so not too good is it going to make a two weekly new low or an all-time new low here not quite so we are in cash now and it hasn't made a two weekly new high you see it's not enough time passed but it's about to make a two weekly new high here so we're gonna buy and we've got our stop just under 350 there major round number and we're gonna raise our stop here because it's crossed the 400 level I think yes now it has and we're coming to the end we could raise our stop if it across the 450 level but that is the ceiling for this simulation so we're just going to wait for the time to play out now or unless it suddenly dips below 400 and you see there we've made a small profit so that works too you will, you will have some trades that don't work out so it's very important to follow your system and that's where pyramid comes in as well if you're right, you add to winning positions.